And while her children slept in the very next room, the salesman brutally raped the young mother. This chilling new ad from Democratic gubernatorial candidate Wendy Davis. It slams her Republican rival, Greg Abbott, for an opinion he wrote from his days as a state Supreme Court justice. It's airing across the state right now, so we decided to put it to the truth test. New at 6, KITV's Adam Akusin is live at the Capitol. Adam, how does this one rate? Well, while well, both Wendy Davis and Greg Abbott are trying to be the top official in this building, and those political ads are now starting. In this hard-hitting ad, the Davis campaign goes back to a rape case from 1993, when Abbott was still a member of the Supreme Court of Texas. For one woman, it quickly became a nightmare. The ad starts off talking about a door-to-door -door vacuum salesman accused of raping a Seguin, Texas mother, while her children slept nearby. We find that statement true. The salesman was a sexual predator on probation. According to Texas Supreme Court documents, that's also true. The salesman did have a history of sexual misconduct. The ad goes on to state the Kirby vacuum cleaner distributor failed to perform a routine background check on him. But the ad leaves out the distributor's name. The case eventually made it all the way to the Texas Supreme Court with the family fighting for the right to sue Kirby, the vacuum manufacturer. They eventually won. But here's where the ad gets into a gray area. But Greg Abbott sided with the company against the victim. The salesman was an independent contractor for the distributor. In his dissenting opinion, Abbott argued the responsibility for hiring and background checks is with the distributor, not Kirby. The ad also doesn't mention that both the Court of Appeals and the Texas Supreme Court found there was legally insufficient evidence to support the gross negligence finding. While our information shows the ad is mostly true, the Davis campaign did leave gray areas in the information. And Abbott's campaign responded that this is just gutter politics. In a statement, in a, statement a spokesperson said, quote, Greg Abbott's decision left intact the liability against the sex offender and his employer. No amount of desperate distortion attempts or token ad buys by Senator Davis can change the facts of Greg Abbott's record of fighting for Texans. And we will continue to fact check these ads no matter which side it's coming from and which candidate is releasing them. Reporting live from the state capitol tonight, Adam Rakusin, KITV News.